Hello everybody, welcome to my Easter yoga session. So all you need is a little bit of space, um, a soft flooring, so either a yoga mat or a carpet to practice on, uh, some water, I don't know if anyone else has really bad hay fever at the moment, so if you can't uh, understand what I'm saying or if I have to keep blowing my nose, just bear with me. Um, I'm sure you're all in the same position. So yeah, what I was saying was if you have some water and um, some comfortable clothing. So making sure if you've got any injuries, please just take easier options. I'm not there to give you any adjustments or any uh, specific options for you. So if you're feeling any pain or discomfort, just make sure that you take either a child's pose or a position that's comfortable for you and allow yourself to rest. So when you're ready, let's get started. To begin, we're going to seat ourselves on our mats. So in your own turn, make your way down onto the ground. Stay in a nice, comfortable position. So we're making sure our weight is evenly distributed through both sides of the body and we're sat up nice and straight. You may be cross-legged, you may have your legs straight out in front of you, out to the sides, whatever feels good for you. You can even be kneeling if you need. Sit up nice and straight when you're ready, bringing your eyes to a close. We're going to draw the attention inwards. Focusing primarily on the breath, also on the body. With each inhalation, filling those lungs all the way down to the diaphragm. With each exhalation, relaxing your shoulders, maintaining the extension through the spine. Inhale, grow up towards the sky. Exhale, relax the full body, but keep that extension. So as we all know, Easter signifies the beginning of new life. So Easter time is around the start of spring. New beginnings, new life can translate into our lives. So remember that each day that you wake up is a new beginning. You have the opportunity to change for the better. You have the opportunity to help others and help yourselves to become better people. New beginnings and new life. Remembering this throughout the session. Every moment is a new beginning. As we surround ourselves with new life, new energy, new emotions. Despite living in these difficult times, maybe you are confused, sad, struggling with what's going to happen in the future. We can still apply this idea of new beginnings into our everyday lives. So each day we're benefiting from this idea. Each day is a new beginning. Every morning you wake up, the sun rises again. A new day, new chances. Like a reset has been pushed. You have the chance to better everything in your life. Each time you breathe in, we're breathing in new air. Each time you exhale, you're relaxing a little bit more. your next inhalation, slowly open your eyes and we'll begin to mobilise our bodies so we can get into a nice gentle flow to finish off the day. 
Starting up to warm up through the torso. As we inhale, we're arching the back and pulling the shoulders back. Then we're going through our seated cat and cow postures. Exhale, round off the back. Set the belly button in towards the spine. Bring the chin to the chest. Inhale, arch. Face comes to the sky. Exhale, round. Chin to chest. Keep on going in your own time. Incorporate the breath with the movement. Trying to mobilise all the way from the pelvis up to the top of the head. Adding in any extra movement so you can take your body round in a big circle. Doing whatever feels good for you. Moving through the full spine. Don't worry what you look like. Warming up every single part of that spine through every single vertebrae. On your next inhalation, bring the spine to neutral, sat up nice and straight. From here, rolling out the shoulders, inhale, draw the shoulders up to the ears, exhale, roll them back. Open the chest, inhale, draw the shoulders up, exhale, roll them back. Again, focusing on incorporating that breath with the movement. Two more times, inhale, draw the shoulders up. Exhale, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades behind the back. This time, bring them forwards, inhale, draw the shoulders up. Exhale, round off the back, making a cave in the chest, sucking in at the solar plexus. Parting the shoulder blades with each roll forwards. And then one last big roll back to reopen the chest. From here, link the hands behind the lower back. Squeezing the shoulder blades, pull the shoulders back and down. Lift the chin away from the chest, allowing as much air as you can to flow into your lungs. Exhale, release, round off the back, make a big circle with the arms. As if you're holding a beach ball, bring the chin into the chest. And relax the hands back down onto the knees. From here, warming up through the neck, dropping the ear down towards the shoulder. Inhale, draw the head back to centre. Exhale, drop the head the other way. Keep on going in your own time. This time, as we drop the head to the shoulder, we're placing that same hand on the side of the head. Apply a little bit of pressure, walking your other hand away if you wish. Release, inhale, draw the head back up. Exhale, drop the head the other way. Bring that hand onto the side of the head, walking your other hand away if you wish. Apologies about the sniffing. I've got extremely bad hay fever, I'm sure a lot of you do as well. Inhale, draw the head back up to centre. Bring the chin in towards the chest, placing both hands behind the head. Bring the elbows forwards, stretching down the back of the neck. Now you can round off the upper back if you wish. Release the hands, inhale, take the face to the sky. Exhale, come back to centre. From here, taking your hands down onto your mat. Let's swing the legs around, coming to our tabletop position. So we've got a nice flat back, shoulders stacked over the wrist, spreading those fingers out on your mat so your weight is evenly distributed through the full hand. Try to take the pressure off the wrists a bit. Tuck the toes under. Exhale, we're coming into our first downward facing dog. Lift the bum towards the sky. Push the chest through towards the legs. Bending the knees if you need to, maybe pedaling those feet. When you hear that time comes down towards the ground. From here, looking between the hands, walk your feet all the way to the top of your mat, coming into your forward fold. Cross the arms if you'd like. Take a little swing from side to side. Again, maybe bending the knees, pushing that tailbone up towards the sky to get your stretch through the hamstrings. Set the belly button in towards the spine. Inhale, roll all the way up through the back. Coming up to standing. 
So we're stood now at the top of your mat, making sure you've got some space behind you. We're going to go for our Sun Salutation B now. So this is a bit different from Sun Salutation A, which we've done a few times before. So just to warm up through the body, you can take it as fast or as slow as you like. And so we're starting off in our Tadasana pose. So this is our mountain pose. We've done it many times before. So our feet are together, the hands are down either side of the body with the palms spread. Chin lifted, chest open, shoulders pulled back and down. Tucking that tailbone under, so we're trying not to arch the back. From here, we're going to come into our chair pose. So Utkatasana, sweep the hands down, bending the knees, reach the arms up towards the sky. So as we haven't warmed up so much, you don't need to go super deep into this uh, posture. Or you can sit all the way down as far as is comfortable for you. As you exhale, sweep the hands down, coming into your forward fold, hinge at the hips, inhale, halfway lift, flatten the back, take the hands onto the shins if you need. Exhale, place the hands down, step your right leg followed by your left leg back into a plank position, place the knees down if you need. Exhale, bring the elbows into us, the body chaturanga, inhale, pushing this time into a baby cobra or a sphinx. So we're opening the chest, pulling the shoulders back, finding that bend through the back, lift the chin towards the sky. Take the weight into the hands, exhale, down facing dog, pushing the chest through towards the legs. From here, lift your right leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. As you exhale, bring that foot all the way through between the hands. Placing your left heel down, inhale, reach the arms up above the head, warrior one. Exhale, place your hands down either side of that front leg, stepping back. And we're going through that vinyasa again, so place the Knees down if you need to, and we're lowering ourselves through Chaturanga. This time pushing it into an up dog or a cobra, so either coming into a full cobra or lifting the thighs off the ground into our up dog. Tuck the toes under, exhale down, we're facing dog. Repeat that on the other side. Inhale, left leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, bring that foot all the way through between the hands. Place your right heel down, inhale, reach the arms up above the head, warrior one. 90 degrees out that front leg. Exhale, place the hands down either side of your front foot. Coming back into that plank, place the knees down if you need to. Lowering yourself through Chaturanga. Inhale, pushing into your up dog or your cobra. Exhale, down with facing dog. Let's hold here for four breaths. Pedaling through the feet if you need to. Allow yourself to rest here. Maybe rising up onto the toes, maybe bending both legs to get that stretch through the back a bit further. From here, looking between the hands, walking or jumping your feet all the way to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. As we inhale, bending both knees, coming back into that um, Chair pose into our Utkatasana, sweep the arms up above the head. Exhale, draw the hands down the heart centre, straighten out those legs. Tadasana pose. Give yourselves a shake up and we'll move on to a bit more of a flow. So we should now be feeling nice and warmed up through our bodies and we're going to come into a more relaxing flow, opening the heart to the sky, opening through those hips. And just taking a little stretch out to finish your day. So again, starting in our Tadasana pose, our mountain pose near the top of our mat, shoulders pulled back and down. Again, taking this flow as slowly or as quickly as you like. So we inhale, reach the arms up above the head, Asta Tadasana, exhale, draw the hands down at heart centre. We're stepping our right leg back first, coming into a nice big lunge. So we're in a lunge position, we should have a 90 degree angle at that front knee. Our back foot is up on the toe, so we're coming into a crescent lunge, reach the arms up above the head. If you'd like, you can take a back bend or keep your back nice and straight, opening that heart, shoulders pulled back and down. Chest open, stretching through those hip flexors of the back leg. From here, placing your right heel down, we're in our warrior one position, exhale, warrior two. Hips come to face to the side. Arms out at shoulder height, again 90 degrees at that front angle, uh, front knee, sorry. Straightening out your front leg, coming into our triangle pose. So we push the hips back and reach forwards, bring your left hand down the inside of that left leg. So you can either come 
with your hand on your uh, shin, on your foot, or on the inside of that front leg on the ground. When you found your balance, looking up towards your top hand, pushing those hips to the side. From here, as you inhale, rising back up through that triangle pose, bending that front knee once more into our warrior two. We're going to turn the legs now to face to the side of the mat, so we're in our wide-legged pose. As you exhale, hinge at the hips, coming into a nice forward fold. So if you're really flexible, you can shuffle your feet in a little bit closer together. Relaxing the head down, maybe bring your forearms down to the ground, maybe just the hands keeping a flat back. Give your head a little shake and a nod. Maybe taking the hips from side to side, let's just wake up through those hips, bending the knees if you'd like. From here, walk your hands through to the back of your mat. So we're coming a little bit further into the stretch. Taking the weight back onto the hands. Inhale, rising up through the body. Bring the arms out by the side. So we're going to face the other way on our mats now. So we turn our right leg to the top of your mat in your triangle pose. Pushing the hips back, reach forwards, bring that right hand down the inside of the right leg. Reach your left arm up towards the sky, push the hips to the side. Take the gaze up towards the middle finger of that left hand once you've found your balance. From here, inhale, rising back up, bend that front knee. So we're in our warrior two, shoulder, uh, arms out at shoulder height, looking over those front fingertips. Try not to let that back arm drop, so we're remembering to keep those arms lifted 90 degrees at your front leg. As you inhale, twist the hips forwards, reach the arms up above the head. Lifting that back heel, we're in our crescent lunge, keeping that 90 degree angle at your front knee. Maybe take the face up towards the sky, or keep on looking forwards. Bringing the hands together now, taking the weight into the front leg, we're stepping back to the top of our mats. So we're now at the top of our mats again, you can face whichever way uh, suits you, so you can be at whichever end of your mat. So we're still in our Tadasana pose, stood up nice and straight, we've got our hands together at heart centre. So from here, as we inhale, reach the arms up above the head, and then as you exhale, sweep into that forwards fold. Keeping the legs nice and straight, let's push those sit bones up towards the sky. So the hands might come onto the shins, maybe a bit further down, maybe even all the way to the floor. Maybe you need to bend your knees to stretch through those hamstrings, pushing the tailbone up to the sky. Give your head a shake. Placing the hands down, stepping your left leg, followed by your right leg, back into our plank position. From here, lower yourself through Chaturanga, take the knees down if you need to. Bring the elbows in nice and close. Inhale, pushing into a cobra. So we're taking that pressure off the arms now. Just opening the chest, keeping those thighs down onto the ground. Looking the face up towards the sky, shoulders pulled back and down. Finding that curve all the way through the spine. Bring the big toes together, transfer the weight backwards, coming into a child's pose. So you can be in whichever position is most comfortable for you. You may have your arms extended out in front of you. You may have them down by the side of the body with the face resting on the ground. Sitting onto those heels. If you want to make the stretch more intense, you can take the knees a little bit wider. Focusing on your breath here. Staying in a position that's comfortable for you. I can't extend my arm out because I've got a bit of a shoulder injury. So just um, be aware you can stay in that position. I'm just choosing not to. From here, transfer yourself forwards into a tabletop position. Bring the knees together. 
And we're going to tuck the uh, toes under and lift the bum up to the sky, back into that downward facing dog. So from here we're going to come into our fallen star pose. So we're lifting our right leg up towards the sky first. And then as you exhale, bring that leg all the way through between the hands. So we've got the leg lifted off the ground and we're in a point position. We're then twisting to your left hand side, extend the right leg out. So it's like a side plank, but we've got one leg extended to the side, so we've got a bigger base of support. Set the belly button in towards the spine. Take the gaze up towards that top hand if you can. If this is too much pressure on the wrist or the shoulder, you can take yourself down onto the forearm. Taking that left hand back down onto the mat. Push yourself back to that plank position and then lifting the bum towards the sky into your downward facing dog. Switching to the other side, the left leg lifts. Exhale, bring the knee all the way through between the hands, transferring into that plank. And then twisting, place that left leg out. Reach the right hand up towards the sky. Taking the gaze up towards that top hand when you can, we're in our fallen star pose. Again, bring yourself down onto your forearm if you need to. And then place that right hand down, stepping back into a plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, as we inhale, lifting that right leg up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, again, bring that knee all the way through between the hands, but this time we're placing it down, coming into our pigeon pose. So you can either sit onto the heel, so we're in a kneeling position, or we bring ourselves down so that front leg is rotated externally and we've got our heel next to the hip of the left leg. Sat up nice and straight first. If you want to make the stretch more intense, you can shuffle the heel away from you. So we want to make sure our hips are at an even level here. As we exhale, walk the hands forward, coming into our sleeping swan pose. So you can either stay on the forearms or extend the arms all the way out in front of you. Relax the forehead down to the ground if you wish. Feeling that stretch through the hip flexors of your back leg and also the glutes of that bent leg. Taking the weight back into the hands, tucking your left toe under. Stepping back into our plank, exhale, downward facing dog, repeat on the other side, the left leg lifts towards the sky, exhale, bring between the hands, placing down onto the shin or onto the outside of that leg. Again, shuffle that heel away from you if you want to make the stretch more intense. Sat up nice and straight to begin with in our pigeon pose. those hips even, try not to rock over onto that front leg. And then as you exhale, walk the hands forward, sleeping swan, either extending the arms all the way out in front of you or resting on the forearms like me. the weight back into the hands, tuck your right toes under, transfer back to a plank position, exhale down the facing dog. Allow yourself to relax here for a few seconds, bending the knees if you'd like, pedaling through the feet if this feels good for you. Or just holding that down the facing dog, trying to push the chest through towards the legs, externally rotating those shoulders, making space for the head and the neck. Exhale, transfer forwards into a plank position and then placing the knees down, shuffling into our tabletop. Once you're in this position, making sure the shoulders are over the wrist, hips are over the knees, we inhale, reach the right arm up towards the sky. 
Exhale, thread all the way through. Interwise thread the needle pose, so the right shoulder and the right side of the face are resting on the mat. You can either extend your left arm to the top of your mat or wrap it all the way around the lower back to increase that stretch. In this spinal twist, keep the hips pointing up towards the sky. Placing your left hand down, push yourself back up into that tabletop position. Make sure your hips are in line with your shoulders and you've got a nice straight spine again and we're switching to the other side. So inhale, lift your left hand up towards the sky. Exhale, thread all the way through, left shoulder, left side of the face rests on the ground. Right hand walks to the top of the mat or wraps around the lower back to increase the stretch. Taking your right hand back down onto your mat, pushing yourself back up into that tabletop position, crossing the ankles, sitting back onto the heels, and we're transferring into a seated position. So from here, set up nice and straight, we're going to extend the legs out. So we're in our Dandasana pose, and then nice and slowly, setting the belly button in towards the spine, we're rolling through the spine, coming down onto our backs. From here, bending the knees up towards the sky, feet planted on your mat. We're taking the left ankle over the right knee, figure four stretch. And then hugging that right thigh in towards the chest. So we're reaching hands through, grabbing behind the right thigh. So we're getting a stretch through the glutes of your left leg. If you want to take a stretch through the hamstrings as well, we're stretching that right leg up towards the sky, flexing the right foot. Placing that right foot down, bringing the left foot to meet it. And we're switching it over to the other side. So the right ankle comes over the left knee. Figure four stretch, reach the hands through, grabbing behind the left thigh. Again, if you want to take that hamstring stretch, extending the left leg up towards the sky at the same time. Flexing the toes of the left foot. Placing that left leg down, placing both feet on your mat from here, hugging both knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little massage through the back, so you're rocking from side to side, moving backwards and forwards, maybe rounding off the full back, bring the face towards the knees. Do whatever feels good for you. Maybe you're twisting from side to side. And then as you exhale, extend the legs out, reaching the arms all the way up above the head with an inhale. Exhale, pushing the fingers away from the toes, making yourself as tall as you can. Full body stretch. And relaxing the arms down by the side, allow the legs to relax outwards, palms facing up towards the sky. Into our last posture, our Shavasana pose. If you need to place a pillow or a bolster under the knees to take that pressure off the lower back, please feel free. And just allow yourselves to relax here. Allow yourself to focus on your breath in the same way that we did at the start. 
feeling all the way down to the diaphragm with each inhalation, opening in the chest, in the ribs, in the stomach. With each exhalation, feeling the weight of your body pressing down into your mat. As we inhale, we're inhaling confidence, allowing that to fill our bodies, allowing it to flow through the bloodstream to every single part of your body. With each exhalation, breathing out your doubt, your fear. Inhale, opening the chest, in the heart. Flood that heart with love, confidence, pride. As you exhale, release that doubt, release that fear. Just as the world around us changes and evolves, so do the circumstances and situations in our lives. We live in a universe that is alive, vibrant and constantly evolving. Change is the way nature the universe and the divine move us through each period of our lives and into destiny. We are led to our next lesson, our next adventure. There is no need to deny change, to fear it or to fight against it. Change is inevitable. Just as the earth is constant motion and transformation, so are we. Take your place in the universal dance, the universal rhythm. Allow change to happen. Work with it as your life unfolds. Sometimes change comes in one smashing moment like a volcanic eruption. Other times it happens more slowly, the way the winds and rain sculpt bridges out of canyons. Learn to trust your body, its signs, signals, warnings, and excited pro proclamations. We let the gathering clouds warn us of impending storms, and we learn to study and predict tremors in the earth. In much the same way, our body can function as a barometer for our soul and its place in the constantly changing and evolving universe. You are open now, more sensitive than you've been before. Change is coming, it's here. You can feel it in the air, you can feel it in yourself. Welcome this new beginning, welcome this new life. In your own time now, let's reawaken the body, starting you off with the feet, wiggle your toes. Point and flex your feet, circle your ankles. Add in the hands, wiggle your fingers, circle your wrists. Reawakening all of these joints, all of these areas of our bodies, taking the head from side to side. Maybe you'd like to hug your knees into your chest. Maybe you'd like to take a full body stretch, do whatever feels good for you. in your own time. We're rolling over to our right side and making a little pillow for the head with the arm. Allow yourself to rest here for a few seconds. Maybe blinking your eyes open, maybe keeping them closed. Allow yourself to adjust in this position and then slowly push yourself up to a seated position and bring your hands together at heart center. Thank you all so much for joining me for that session today. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves and I hope you feel refreshed and relaxed and ready for these new beginnings we're all going to be experiencing in our lives. So thank you once again and namaste.